Two at five. If you haven't gotten the vaccine yet, your shot could come with a warning. Tonight, area health departments are preparing to administer the Johnson & Johnson vaccine again. The vaccine was put on pause for 11 days due to concerns over rare blood clots. The CDC now says it is safe and effective to use again. News 4's Emma Hoag spent the day checking in with area health departments. Emma is live from the St. Louis County Health Department in Berkeley. Emma. Corey, after nearly two weeks, the St. Louis County Health Department will once again start administering the Johnson & Johnson vaccine starting tomorrow. Right now, they have about 1,600 doses in storage ready to go, but tonight we're learning they won't be administering them to women under 50. Because they hurt. Like most, Sharon West doesn't like shots, but when it comes to the COVID vaccine, she prefers two shots over one. West still has concerns over the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and its potential to cause extremely rare blood clots. And I'm high risk. 67 years old, it's like I don't need any more complications in my life. By next week, health departments in St. Charles, Jefferson, St. Clair, and Madison counties are planning to start administering J&J &J again. Many departments already have hundreds of doses in storage. St. Louis County will give them primarily to the homeless and homebound again starting tomorrow. Its safety profile remains um, safe and uh, effective. And so going forward, we would have no hesitation in redeploying the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. But what happens if you prefer to get Pfizer or Moderna instead? Dr. Faisal Khan with St. Louis County Health says they're working to notify people about which vaccine will be used ahead of time. You only get the vaccine that is available for that particular event and venue. But we will try to advertise it up front so that people are able to make an informed decision on their own. According to the CDC, the rare blood clots were found in women between the ages of 18 and 49. From now on, St. Louis County will offer Pfizer to women younger than 50. I was very pleased that I got the Moderna today. What do you say to people who are still hesitant, you know, given that 11 day pause? There is absolutely no cause for alarm. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention acted out of an abundance of caution. So vaccine sites in the St. Louis area never got a huge supply of Johnson & Johnson vaccine to begin with. So if you prefer Pfizer or Moderna, they likely can't accommodate you. Just make sure you let them know ahead of your appointment time. Today, I also checked in with the St. Louis City Health Department. Right now, they have about 150 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in storage, but no immediate plans to administer those doses in the coming days. Reporting in Berkeley tonight, Emma Hogue News 4.